to my channel or whatever and i'm back with another video or whatever or whatever or whatever, or whatever. hey how y'all doing ll cool guy first and foremost this is the first time you ever seen my face upon your screen you better give this video a big red thumbs up make sure you comment down below and make sure you subscribe to become a part of ll cool guy hashtag the best gang hey <laughs> How y'all doing, LL Cool Gang? Is you read by the time? I'm assuming you read right. So without further ado, let's get right into the video or whatever. Hey. <laughs> so LL Cool Gang, what's popping, y'all? Um, as you guys read by the title, it is story time. Yes, yeah, story time. Let's spill some tea or whatever. So, um, as you guys know, I went to Florida yesterday, Gainesville, Florida to be exact, and I, um, went to the mall. And so, I'm here to tell you guys my experience at the mall and tell you guys what I bought and stuff. Of course, I didn't buy myself nothing. I went Christmas shopping for Cameron. But, y'all, I went to that mall. That mall is big. Like, that mall is so big, y'all. I was so tired. Y'all, I was on the... the the first level of the mall, my feet was on fire. I had to sit down, honey. I had to sit down. Not down, but down. D-I-N-E, down. I had to sit the fuck down. But, yeah. I went to that mall. Big, beautiful mall. All the stores. Lord, so many stores. Um, I couldn't even get down on them. But, I went to this particular store called rainbows i'm pretty sure all my ladies know about rainbows because you know it's a pretty popular store you know they got cute stuff for now or whatever so i went to that store rainbows i'm in gainesville florida now by the way and you know we was in there looking around shopping me and my sisters and my aunties and my cousin and i didn't see nothing that i wanted particularly for myself because of course they do sell the girl clothes but i don't think they sell cameron size clothes so Anyways, um, so as we shopping or whatever, in the meantime, between time, I left because my feet started hurting and I couldn't find nothing I liked. So I want to go have a seat. Right across from Rainbows is a, a place that you can sit and rest. So I went and I took a seat. Um, so my sister Jay left Rainbows too with me to have a seat to rest. The one on the thumbnail on my last vlog. If you ain't looked at it, make sure you go watch it after this video. So, we took a seat. So, she was like, and it was a nail shop right there beside it. So, she was like, I'm finna go um, get my filling or whatever. Mama will get my filling while I'm here. I don't have no nails. I was gonna have to pay full set price for a full set. And I like my nails a little long. I like coffin tip. And they starting off price is $26. Not including length. So, with my length that I like, it's probably be $30 starting off with. Not including everything I was going to have on it. Because, you know, I like my nails to be popping. Popping. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, um, they got nothing to do with that. But, anyways. So, she went to stay and got her nails done. And probably, like, a 30 minutes later, like, they was in rainbows forever. My sister and them came walking out. And then I saw them talking to each other. They looked mad. So, I'm like, okay, they got some tea. They got a little tea to spill. So, um, they came... They was like, oh, they were so rude in there. I'm like, and well, what they, in rainbows? They were like, yeah, the customer service sucked. So I'm like, oh, she she told me that the girl, um, um I worked in retail, so I, I for a fact I know customer service is a plus. Um, you have to have great customer service when you're working in retail or anywhere. Period. When you're greeting customers, you supposed to greet your customers. Ask them if they find anything okay. And now when I think about it, when we when I was in Rainbows, I didn't get a greeting when I walked in there. Or they never asked me, did they, do I need any kind of help? Bitch. Now I think about it. But yeah, so I'm like, so when my sister walked out, my sister Tony, I heard the little, little thing, the detective thing go off, ding, 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 ding. Like they left an ink thing on there. But... Tony told me that the girl did that on purpose because the girl was so rude. She was Tony had told the girl, the cashier, one of the cashiers, make sure you take that off of there before I go out of here. She was like, I took she's Tony said the girl said, I took it off like with an attitude. First of all, the bitch. 
don't have no attitude. Second of all, bitch, I will come across this type, this, I will come across this death that's in between me and you, that's keeping you from getting knocked out right now. I will snatch your ass from over that dick just like this. Over that dick just like this. And beat your ass. Like, don't do that. Like, that's so disrespectful. Okay, you having a bad day? And tell me why when Tony walked out the, um, the store or whatever, the thing went off. Cause she didn't take it off, and she did that on purpose, we believe. But that customer service was say it was a little, a little um Mexican girl in there, and it was a black girl, and that customer service sucked. So I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Um, so I went in there for myself. I said, Tony, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna go in there for myself to see if the customer service sucked. I'm gonna go back in there to see. I'm actually gonna go up there to their to the desk because you know some makeup stuff over there by the desk, and I want to see what they gonna ask me. Do I need help or anything? So I went up there to go look in the makeup and stuff. Um, and not one time did they ask me did I need help or did they greet me? You know when you walk into a, a retail a retail store like that, it's fashion rainbows all that. You supposed to greet. Hello, welcome to It's Fashion Metro. How you doing? That's why you said when I used to work at um It's Fashion. Hi, welcome to It's Fashion Metro. And this is it's the holiday season, so you're supposed to be like, Hey, welcome to Rainbows. Be sure to pick up a gift while you're here. But them bitches ain't say nothing. So I sat there and I wait and I gave her the abacus. First of all, first of all, you know, just spitting my sister, you know, just spitting my family, period. And I don't play that. So that's the first thing Tony said when um she walked out. She said, I'm glad you won in the toy. Right, because I would have beat her ass. And she know that that would have been bailing me out of Gainesville, Florida jail. Cause I don't play that disrespect shit. Especially if you don't know me and this is your job and this is what you're supposed to do. It's not my fault that your boyfriend just got, got caught cheating on you and you mad. Don't bring that to the job, boo. I don't know you. I didn't cheat on you, boo. Don't do that. Like, that's so disrespectful. Don't y'all hate that? But, yes, yeah, like, that. that's one thing that happened, y'all. Like, that sucky-ass customer service in Rainbows in Gainesville, Florida. I told her I... I sh Tony should have said she was going to call the culprit on her and get them bitches fired. Because don't do that. Don't do that. I'm here spending my money in your stuff. Don't do that. So, um, yeah, that happened in Rainbows. And then, like, what's another funny thing that happened, y'all? Oh, it was these, these people who give massages in there. Like, they got a little masseuse shop. And... This lady got mad because I didn't want a massage. She was, I walked by, she was like, massage, massage. I said, uh-uh, no. She said, so she kept questioning me. I'm like, I don't want no damn massage. <clears throat> Even though I needed one, like, my body was hurting, y'all. My legs hurting the day still. So, yeah, that's another interesting thing that happened when I went in the mall. But I didn't really buy too much. I didn't buy nothing for myself, like I said, but it's $20 phone case. That I should have kept my money for. And I just not realized that I left my old phone case there. Like, what the fuck? Toy, you got to do better. I left my own phone case. I left my own phone, my old phone case sitting on the counter thing. And I'm pretty sure that I got them a sweet lick. They finna try to spoof it up a little bit. Because it was real pretty. It was sparkly. And they gonna try to sell it. And I'm gonna go right back to Gainesville, Florida. To that same place. I'm gonna see if she remember me. And I'm going to see if my case deal, if she's trying to sell it. I'm like, oh, you remember me? I bought this case a couple of um, months ago, or weeks ago. It's mine. I made a second left it. Get here, you thought. <laughs> nah, I ain't that petty. But, um, yeah, y'all, that what happened. Like, I can't stand nobody with bad customer service. Like, it's not our fault that you got to work today on this beautiful Saturday. We out shopping and you out working. <laughs> like, facts. Like, don't do that. But, um, yeah. I had to tell you guys the story. I had to get up off my chest. That pressure. But yeah, y'all. I've been having I've been having a lot going on in my life. I had got some good news, and I turned around and got some bad news. You know, but it's life. It happens. 
Um, I'm glad you guys like my new intro or whatever. I can't even roll in peace. Everybody notice me. I can't even go to sleep. I'm rolling on a bean. They tried to get me ain't got on my knees like Jesus, please. You don't even believe in Jesus. Why got Jesus, please? If you want to sleep, but you ain't got a lot of me. Even the black can see that you ain't gonna ride for me. You ain't even showing me the love you said you got for me. That ain't no loyalty. You lied to me. You said that you gonna ride for me. Hey, I can roll the face. I can't even roll the face. <laughs> I like that song. But, um, I'm, I'm been sitting writing in my YouTube book about some new stuff to do on my channel because my channel is growing very, very fast. And I really appreciate all y'all. All y'all, I got to catch up on a lot of y'all videos. I've been a little distracted lately. <laughs> y'all see this glow. <laughs> And y'all like this glow. Somebody doing something right in my life. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this story time, make sure you guys give the video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to become a part of LL Cool Guy. Hashtag the best gang over the <laughs> But yes, you guys. I just had to tell you guys this story because y'all are my second family. And my second family deserve to know what happened to my first family. <laughs> Bitches be trying. It's like, don't try me. I'm not the one, boo-boo. <laughs> but I love y'all. Again, comment, like, subscribe, share if you want. I don't care. See you guys in my next video. And I need some hot topics. So, I ain't did a hot topic in a few weeks. So, if you will, add me on my social media, on my Instagram. I'm going to put the names right here um add me on my instagrams and dm me some hot topics to talk about it could be anything it could be related to relationships um advice youtube advice um um how i feel about um cancer and all kind of shit i don't care just give me some hot topics to discuss so i can talk about it with you but Yes, thank you guys so freaking much for all the love and support. I really, really, really appreciate it. A shout out video will be coming soon. Um, yes, hold on. But yes, I would like to give a special shout out to my boy, um, Formal Kobe. If you guys will go subscribe to his channel, he came to my Instagram personally, asked me, Can I sponsor him? and um, give him a shout out on my um, my channel. So, there you are, Formal Kobe. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate you, my boy. So, be sure to subscribe to his channel, y'all. I will have a link to his channel down below. And make sure you subscribe to him and show him Matt Love because he shows Matt Love. So, make sure you support him again, Formal Kobe. Um, yes, so yes, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time, this Sunday story time. I love you guys, and as always, so much love, I always love LL Cool Gang, what it is, LL Cool Gang, I am out. When you down and colder than a bitch, then you know you lit, when you quick, take a nigga bitch, then you know you lit, every day we lit, yeah.